All right, before I begin, I would like everyone to just appreciate this event. We'd like to thank everyone who organized it, Mr. Francis, uh, Ashley, and everyone involved, and RAIS for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Arthur Ganaban, as you can see over here. I'm an alumni, and I was a bit surprised when I found out that it's actually a TEDx youth event. So, a little bit on the older side. Um, how many young people do we have in the room today? Make some noise. Yes. Woo, right. Young people in the house. All right, enjoy it while it lasts, right? My, my cousin, uh, she's a girl, she asked me, uh, Brother Arthur, how does it feel like to reach the end of your youth, right? So very roasty. I don't know what's wrong with the generation these days. They're very good at roasting people. So here we are today. The speech is about something that can help you. So hopefully you can receive the message, all right? I really was inspired by AIDS's speech, Ibrahim, as I call him. Um, and to spark for change, well, this speech will not be as motivational. In fact, it's going to be mainly practical, all right? So if you can take a few steps from this speech, I hope it can change your life, all right? So here we go, following your dreams realistically. First and foremost, when you think about this old adage or adage of following your dreams, this cliche, what goes in your mind? What goes through your mind? Are you thinking right now? Follow your dreams. Perhaps you might be thinking, that's so cheesy. That's not really realistic, is it? Right? Well, I'm here to try to persuade you today that it's a lot more realistic than you think. Because, well, there's a way in which you can follow your dreams. But the thing is, we have to sort of reassess on what we believe to be real. Look at the person next to you. Can you check if they're real? Do they look real enough? Yes, okay, touch them. Some of you are smelling each other. All right, that's a bit weird, but all right, real. Everything around you in this very moment is real. In fact, if we were to reframe the whole idea of real, the fact that we have come so far as a human society to have the very first black American African-American president of the United States, when there was a time when they would actually sell and have slavery, slave trades, right? And bring them on ships. Think about how far we've come. This is real. Again, the iPhones that you hold today that you and I benefit from came from the man, well, more of a marketing and public speaking genius, but this stuff you see on your hands right now, ask your mother and ask your, your grandmother what was the life like before? This thing that you're holding in your hand, in the palm of your hands, which, which has the ability to research information, and well, now we have ChatGPT, um, as you guys probably utilize as well, is real. Over here, rockets flying to Mars. Again, it's real. And last but not least, funnily enough, this is also pretty real, right? And when you think about the word real, I want to suggest to you a couple of things. The thing is, realistic is really up to you to decide on what kind of reality that you want. Most people would say, get a real job, right? But what is a job, right? Is it really a real job, per se? Or can you make one yourself? So I'm going to derive things um, from my experience, from the, to, to the extent of my experience, and hopefully you will get a few steps that you can apply in your own life, in your own journey of following your dreams. All right, is that clear with everybody? Yes, say yes if you are with me. Yes, yes great. So, pragmatism. I consider myself a very practical person. Instead of thinking, oh, motivation, you know, ma you know making people inspired, that's not necessarily my style I used to be, but now I'm more like, what can we actually do about this particular goal, right? Well, let me start with the first story. I've always dreamed of being an actor. Now, you might think to yourself, oh, how typical, right? You fell for the Hollywood dream or the Bollywood dream or what have you, and whenever you watch movies, you're thinking, I wanna be in that movie. How many of you wanted to ever just 
be honest, wanted to be an actor, right? Put your hand, one person, two people, uh, right? Yes, yes. The truth of the matter is that you can actually be an actor. In fact, there are millions of actors on IMDb, which I'll get into, but, well, hang in there. Let's go with the first step. How, if you really wanted to be an actor, I'm gonna tell you the first step. First step is actually to assess the market. And this is a recurring theme, right? So everybody say with me, finding the opportunities. The thing is, if you really wanted to be an actor, there are so many opportunities without you even realizing that's available to you. In fact, I would uh, show you how simple it is. Does anybody here have Facebook? Facebook? All right. Oh, you guys still use Facebook. I thought everybody changed to Instagram. All right, so if you have Facebook, you can just type on uh, the search bar. What are you thinking right now? That's probably not the one. The search bar, actor. And these are the things that will show up. As you can see, I'm a member of two and several of them, right? So that's the first step. As simple as that. What are the opportunities that are available? And once you click on those things, you're going to realize that there's a plethora a myriad of opportunities that can be available to you and me. And that's what I did. I mean, I was pretty desperate at the time. I wanted to make money. I was uh, looking for odd jobs and what have you. And so I did look for these things. And what happened was very funny. Uh, well, not really that funny, but uh, the second step, I applied to everything. So everybody say with me, apply to everything. And if you think about it, if you apply to every university in the world, although it might be expensive, there's $100 of application fee, I think. But the thing is, don't stop yourself. Like, I, I don't want to be sounding motivational, but don't stop the opportunity before you've even tried applying in the dream school that you're going to. Or to apply to the job when they're saying they're looking for this ABC. And funnily enough, what happened was I actually got certain roles even if it was for a few seconds. So my dream was sort of becoming more and more real. But that's just me applying, sending photos, you know, and uh, it ended up pretty well. The third step, I'll tell you, very simple, is to be consistent. Now, after 10 years of doing this, like off and on, at the end, I somehow ended up with an IMDB um, profile, right? And funnily enough, and there's so many stories, amazing ones, I actually got to be in the same movie as Kate Blanchett. How many of you know Kate Blanchett? Nobody does. Okay, she's pretty pop popular, all right? Um, Oscar award winning actress. Actually, the, that movie was nominated for an Oscar this year. So that was a dream when I was sitting there, realizing that Kate Blanchett, you know, Gallandrail from Lord of the Rings was right in front of me. I knew that I've reached one of my dreams. Maybe it's not as big as Brad Pitt or Tom Cruise, but I was still there. It was still real to me, right? Is that clear with everyone? Be consistent. Everyone say, be consistent. Be consistent. If you only try a couple of times, hey, you know what happens? You will never really know, right? So never stop, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing, uh, the one I mentioned was really about managing expectations. You don't want to put yourself at such a high level of expectation because that will cause a high level of disappointment. But you can also be pretty nonchalant, nonchalant and be like, I applied to this, apply to that, and see what happens. And then take the next step. They say you're shortlisted, go through that meeting. They say this is the day of auditioning, go for that audition. Is that clear with everybody? If you guys want to be an actor, this is a simple step-by-step -step process. And funnily enough, what actually happened um, was that I, I started becoming an agent, a talent agent, because I knew that I wouldn't be getting all the roles, but I really enjoyed the job, so I was finding other talents, other models. If they, I, if, I would tell them, you know, the people that I would meet that, if you know, if you need any models, just let me know, and they started contacting me. And I got more and more involved in that industry. So as you can see, from Facebook to IMDb, things can actually realize themselves or become actuality. All right, the next dream, ladies and gentlemen, boom. Dream of being a speaker and debater. 
Well, this one started from the well, very early stage. But the first step, as I said again, and I'm going to repeat myself, if I want to be a speaker, I want to be a debater, I got to find the what? Opportunities. Do you really want to go to that dream job of yours? Find the opportunities. You have access in your palm of your hands with your mobile devices. And I did. I applied to everything at my university. So I was going to Assumption University and I was looking, just looking for opportunities, any way in which I can speak or I can debate. So I joined Toastmasters and I joined the debate club. And I went to every meeting and I went to every competition. And if there were not enough competitions, we would create our own competitions. So I was basically getting ABAX money and I was traveling around the world. I would go to the Philippines, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Japan. Um, thank you, ABAC. Right, so as you can see over here, a lot of fun. And the third one, what's the third one again? Be consistent. Don't just try it a few times. Obviously, at some point, you're going to do really well. This is a picture of me in Singapore winning the nationals um, five times, speech competitions, and so on and so forth, right? So my dream became a reality. And then, you know, start, school started inviting me, and it came to me. Before that, I would actually ask for every opportunity that I could to speak. Now, managing expectations, obviously, the culture of speaking is not as big as in the States, so I kind of had to fight the market there. Last one is keeping track of your progress. So every year, every moment, you're actually getting more and more opportunities. Just don't forget your wins. Right? Your W's, and okay, sure, you might have a few L's, but your W's are there to stay. All right, last but not least, and hopefully the practical steps are clear to you. I wanted to be an entrepreneur, right? I wanted to be one of those startup founders, and so I went for it, realistically. What do you think the first step was? Assessing the market. I tried it out. This one was a little bit different. And the reason why it was different was because I had to figure out what the market wanted. All right? And so that's when I figured out that schools, they actually had a debate club, but they didn't have professional debate clubs. And so that's when I entered the market and I started speaking at these places. And so I applied to everything. I saw what worked. Obviously, there were certain times, especially during the COVID pandemic, that was it was it was difficult and we had to transition to online programs. But at the end of the day, you guys can see over here, this might just be a simple picture to you, but behind this picture or behind this collage, ladies and gentlemen, is a lot of stories, right? A lot of pain, a lot of hard work, a lot of convincing and a lot of, well, sleepless nights. But it was worth it at the end. Because at the end, being consistent was I was able to do all these things with the help of my mother and my brother and my teammates, right? So as you can see, following your dreams is a lot more practical and realistic than you actually expected. And so the reason why I'm saying these things and um, I kept tra track of the progress, so every year we will have more and more students and you know, working so hard and doing our very best. And it grew, people talked about it, people shared to their friends, mothers shared to other mothers. And it's just a feeling that I can't explain. And maybe you might be sitting in your chair right now and thinking, how is this re relevant to me? Well, it's relevant to you because at the end of the day, the truth is often stranger than fiction, as Mark Twain put it. Here we are, all right. The thing is, my last comments to you is, if you want to follow your dreams, number one, assess the market, whatever that dream might be. Two, apply it to it. That's it. It's as simple as that. Don't stop yourself from the opportunity of actually being accepted. There was another speech earlier about the word rejection. And the thing is, to build on top of that, you don't know unless you apply, right? You don't know unless you ask that girl out. 
Maybe you might be rejecting yourself before she rejects you. So you might as well give it a shot, right? So after this speech, maybe you could try it out and see what happens, right? Apply to everything. So at the end of the day, you got to keep trying it because you don't know how, what it will lead up to. And that's the beauty of following your dreams realistically. So to end the speech, I want to say that your dreams are a lot more attainable than you think they are. They're not out of reach. You just have to take that step one at a time, one application at a time, one message at a time, one search at a time, right? And then eventually, at some point, you're going to reach that dream of yours, especially if you're able to manage your expectations and, of course, be consistent. And you'll never know the opportunities that you will see ahead of you. I'm excited for every one of you sitting here and looking at the video or watching this speech because at the end of the day, we only have one life to live, don't we? And I've been reminded of that over and over again with death. And this itself, it's a beautiful moment because we can never go back in this moment, can we? So go for your dreams, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let, don't put the voice away and say, ah, I can wait, let me get a real job. I'm, I'm telling you, start looking for your opportunities today and you will never know the things that you will achieve. Follow your dreams and do it realistically. Thank you for listening.